Good morning and welcome to the B-Rad Show. Okay, so you guys probably weren't waiting for chapter four. How was chapter four about? Well, chapter four in the young book wasn't really about much. It was about the gym. Yeah. Arnold said that back in the day, there weren't many gyms around. You know, it was hard to find a good gym, you know, to go to. He said, and he talked about how that you would want to find a gym that has, you know, professional people that works out in there because people that work out real hard and stuff can motivate and inspire you. You know, not by, you know, talking to them, but by seeing them work. He said that one time, you know, he almost talked himself out of working out. He steps out of the gym and then he saw the big blue sky and you know what I'm saying? And the wind blowing in the sun and he was like in the beach or down. He's like, man, night today will feel like a nice day to go to the beach. And you know what I'm saying? And he figured he said, Man, you know what? I've been working out hard all last week and the day before. I deserve a day off. And then right when he was about to quit, then he heard the weight. He's like, oh. and then he said it was one of the gym guys in there just working out, slapping away, squatting 400 pounds, bench pressing four or 500 pounds. He said, he turned around, looked, he said, hell no, I can't go to the beach. If I go to the beach, I'll, I'll never catch up to these guys or these guys are going to leave me. So he, he didn't go to the gym and after that, it turned out to be he had a good workout that day. So that's what he said, was that make sure you go to a gym that, you know, got some, you know, talented people that work out there, or maybe a gym that has, you know, like Gold Gym, they have pictures of idols up there, and the people that have won Mr. Olympia on the wall, so that way you'll be motivated when you see those pictures, you know. He didn't, he didn't say something about a home gym, he said he could never have a home gym, because he said the atmosphere, it, it wasn't there, and that's what he says about going to having a gym membership, the beautiful thing about a gym membership is the atmosphere. You know, and depending on the atmosphere, you know, it, it, a gym can make a lot of money. He, he compared it to a restaurant, he said a lot of restaurants, you know, they pretty much serve the same food and all the food tastes the same, the drinks taste the same. But what causes a business to a restaurant is the atmosphere, the location of the job, the, uh, the business, you know what I'm saying, and the people that go there. The atmosphere is what attract business. And, that's how you make money. So he said the same thing with going to a gym. He said he would never go to a gym that's located in the basement. He said he just feels so confined in there. He said he like a gym that's on least ground level to the streets so or when he look outside he can see the cars go by or something, a gym that's raised up a higher level. So that way, you know what I'm saying, you're elevated and it makes you feel up there. You know what I'm talking about? So that's what he says about the gym. It wasn't really much in that chapter. You know, I was like, I could have kept going reading on because that chapter really wasn't about nothing. It was just about having a gym membership, you know. And, uh, but I don't know. I got my own gym. You know what I'm saying? So, anything. Well, a tip for me. If you want to know what's heavy, I believe that if you're doing a rep, you're working out, and if your heart becomes elevated, I believe then that weight is heavy enough. He said, but be right. What if you're going light and next thing you just do hella reps and your heart elevated? <laughs> that proves my point right there. <laughs> you don't have to go heavy. You can do a lot of reps. You know what I'm saying? And then and, and it'll make your heart elevated. I'm telling you, I was curling 25 pounds earlier just to, you know what I'm saying, for the shot. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to move my veins to pop out. So I got it for the shot. So I was curling. And I was doing like 20, 30. And when I was getting like 30, try to do 40, 40 times, start getting hella heavy. I said, oh shit. <laughs> start burning right there, hurting right there. So, you know what I'm saying? So, and usually I curl 50, but it was just 25 pounds. So, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, if your heart gets elevated, that means it's heavy enough where you're doing something right. You know what I'm saying? If you elevate your heart, you're doing it right. You no matter how heavy you go, as long as you get your heart elevated, you know what I'm saying? You're doing it right. You're gonna build muscle. You're gonna build endurance. Because then there's two kinds of muscles. There's slow twitch fibers and there's fast twitch fibers. A 
learn that from Gravity Transformation. I saw him on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I like listening to him because he talks slow and I understand him. So, yeah, and it's you no know, slow twitch fibers when you fucking lift hella heavy. Fast twitch, no, fast twitch fibers when you lift hella heavy, your strength's right there. And slow twitch fibers when you lift them light weight for a lot of rest, and you build that muscle. So you gotta build both muscles. You know what I'm saying? They're all beneficial. You gotta have everything, like Arnold said. You gotta work all the muscles. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, that's it for today, you guys. You guys have to catch me on the next one.